Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. So in today's video, we're gonna be showing you guys how to upgrade from Windows Server 2019 Evaluation Edition to the full activated version of Windows Server 2019. Uh, this is going to be the same process no matter what version of Windows Server you're on, uh, but I'm currently on Windows Server 2019, so hence the title of today's video. Now before we go ahead and get started with this, we wanted to mention that we do offer Windows Server 2016, 2019, and 2022 at our website, and we have it at a less than retail price tag. So if you're interested in purchasing you or your company uh, Windows Server activations, check those links out in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I'm here on the server manager. Go ahead and X out of this, and we're gonna we're gonna launch the uh, PowerShell. So I'll go ahead and search for uh, PowerShell, and we'll go ahead and open this up. So we're gonna use commands to retrieve our available upgrades, and then actually make that upgrade happen as well. Now, as you can see down here in the bottom right, we are in the Windows Server 2019 standard evaluation basically the trial version of server and it's good for 180 days. Uh, but in this tutorial, we're gonna take this trial version and we're gonna activate the new version. All right, so the first command we're gonna enter here is DISM space uh, forward slash here. Online space slash get dash current edition, okay? We'll press enter there and then here it's gonna display our current edition that we're running. So the current OS that we're running is server standard eval. That's the standard evaluation version of the server. And then we can run the same command, but instead of current edition, we're gonna change it to target edition. So get dash target editions. This is gonna display, oops, sorry, I made a typo there. All right, so this is gonna display the uh, editions that we can upgrade to. So server standard or server data center, those are our two options. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and type out the actual command that's gonna upgrade the system to the full version. So uh, it's very simple. We're gonna start with the same initial command, DISM slash online slash set edition. Here we get a colon, and then we're gonna pick one of these two editions. So if we want the full edition of the standard version, we're gonna copy verbatim what the above text says, server standard, okay? And then another space, and we have a few more things that we need to enter here. Uh, next up is gonna be the product key. Again, if you have yet to purchase your copy of Windows Server, check those links in the description as you can save on your purchase, and you'll get your product key within just a few minutes of your purchase. All right, so product key, colon, and then we have the 25 digit product key. All right, so here is the format in which you would enter your product key. I'm not actually going to display one here, but imagine your actual product key goes here. You can just go ahead and paste that in. And then the last command is accept the EULA. So accept EULA, and then we just press enter. Now, as, it, as you can see here, we're getting um, a message that the product key cannot be validated. Again, that's because we're just using an example uh, format for a product key. I'm not actually activating this right now but with your unique product key that's delivered to your email, uh, again, in just a few minutes if you get it from Indigo Software. Uh, running this command will deploy the full version of Windows Server, and then a simple restart gets you into the full version. Now, one more thing that we wanted to show you guys here, we're gonna go into the Windows settings from the server, and then going into the Windows settings, we have options here for activation. So within this menu, we can change our product key, or for example, if you restart and it's not accepting your product key, you're gonna make all those changes through this little menu here in the setting. All right, guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. If you found it helpful, we'd really appreciate a like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you have any questions, just drop those in the comment section below, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Again, be sure to check those links out if you're interested in Windows Server. And again, we thank you for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.